Imagine a 300-ton granite obelisk carved in Aswan, somehow arriving upright in distant cities like Luxor. How did ancient Egyptians move these colossal stones across harsh landscapes in the Nile? One leading theory, they used massive wooden sleds, dragging the obelisks over lubricated sand. In 2014, archaeologists discovered tomb paintings showing workers pouring water in front of sleds, reducing friction and making it possible to haul such immense weights. Experimental archaeology has tested this. Teams dragged multi-ton stones over wet sand, confirming the method dramatically cuts resistance. Further, ancient texts mention vast labor forces and ingenious rope systems. Some evidence even suggests they built special canals to float obelisks closer to their final destinations. Yet no single method explains every detail. Some questions remain. How did they avoid sinking in soft ground? Were ramps or rollers also used in tricky terrain? The verdict? Still unknown. The Egyptians' precise transport techniques remain a marvel, their secrets still partly buried in the sands of time. Subscribe to History Crossroads for more tested mysteries.